probably going to reduce the amount of injuries that they have. And I'm, and I'm not saying that this is going to reduce everything, but when the stress and strain on that individual's body over a military career will be significant in what they need in older age. So this is this is supporting your most uh, valuable commodity, and it's your soldiers in the field. Has this been offered to the Indian Army for test? Uh, we have we have given the demonstration to the Indian Army, and we are discussing uh, opportunities with them currently. Yes, sir. So this is lower body, and uh, so what sort of a capability could be looked at in the upper body? <coughs> so. Most of what we have done is for the lower body. The, the missions that we have identified and focused on have been lower body. We recognize that there may be capabilities for an upper body uh, portion. That, how we... So now we have this strap holding down the foot center to keep aligned with this foot. Okay. So we have here, can I come on down? So we have here, this is the center point of his knee. Here's the center point of axis rotation for that exoskeleton. So you can see these are pretty well aligned. So we're in this spot, the side length, which we have previously suited up before, hasn't changed, which is good. You don't suddenly feel taller, right? Yeah. Now I'm So to accommodate the varying sizes of users, the developer harnessing we do have here um, has a lot of adjustability in terms of maximum length for accommodating thickness of thighs and thickness of calves. So trying to make sure the user is the system is as accessible as possible to its users was important. So we have a tight fit at the thigh, at the calves here, at the feet. Next we'll do the lower thigh cups. So for this, I will need my box. So for this, what's happening here is having him put his foot up here to, uh, so that we make sure that the cuff at its, is rest at the right spot against his thigh.
I'm just going to put some support. Okay, that's perfect. suited up with the suit powered off. <clears throat> now, at this stage, you can go ahead and just walk around for a little bit. We have to use a move around. Uh, we're using a more suitable hold the battery pouches. So these are standard battery pouches. But one of the common, most common questions we get regarding power is, where do you put the batteries? And really, it comes down to the mission. What does the user need? So, let me quickly set them up here. In a lot of our simulations, a lot of our scenarios that we work with, standby to activate it. The second is a power intensity, which scales the amount of assistance he receives. And the last one here is a switch that lets you have potential other modes of operation or presets. Um, for most operations, we only care about the power on off and the power intensity, uh, which uh, once again, this speaks to the transparency aspect of it. Once the user knows I want this amount of power, I can leave it be, they can set it and leave it from there and they just use the exoskeleton. There's no need to deal with a whole host of functions and capabilities because it's just there to provide him that assistance. So, as a technician, this last step. Oh, I had a USB cable somewhere. Okay, put that. Is it somewhere over there? Uh, one moment, please. Uh, got something I've shuffled with we were setting up here. Can we go ahead and hang out for a second? One more moment. Any questions while we're waiting? We really, <coughs> want, we really want to do something in India. We want to show that um, we're here to support India. We want to be a partner. So I think that's the main reason we want to be successful with something in India. So now that you, so as a technician, the one last major responsibility after suiting them up and making sure everything fits properly is the calibration stage. Um, and so for that, there's a tablet app that we use, which will basically, I check some numbers on here, compare them to want to make sure that everything fits properly, and once they calibrate, I'll check the values, and if everything's good, then we'll be ready to proceed. So, we can send a picture of the line there. Make sure the picture shoulders apart. Perfect. So, the fit, fit turned out very well. So I apply the values and then we can disconnect. You have a ready to move. So normally if this was a new user, I would we would turn the power on and I would have him tell me when it turns on, but he knows his experience. Basically, from here the suit's performing its boot up, and then in a moment you'll all be able to hear the sound when it or should be able to hear the sound when it turns. So there's a small baby. Sorry, go ahead. So how did you know it was on? Explain to them when this is on. It's take around five seconds to reboot itself, and then it start vibrating. And you feel that it's now. So the resistance you felt earlier when when the suit was unpowered 
um, that is now removed. The system is, at a minimum, removing its own resistance at the actuation. So now if we decide to go for a walk, Oh, is it your movement? Your, your movement is it, it doesn't... No, my movement is my own, without this. No, I mean it doesn't... Uh, only is, by is there a lag between what you're thinking and then the way you're trying to... No, I'm oh. just moving on my on own, own at your natural pace. Natural pace. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that?